we've searched uh, 575 hours in the air, over 37,000 square kilometers uh, over, the, over the course of the search. The search for two missing BC residents that were last seen refueling their plane in Cranbrook has officially come to an end. So today our search has been reduced, which means that uh, we're finished searching as of today. We've gotten to, uh, to search the entire area and some higher probability areas uh, more than once. And so we, we have uh, enough coverage that, uh, and now that we haven't found anything, we are uh, satisfied that uh, we can stand down. We have, we have two aircraft out today from 442 Squadron. Uh, they're doing a bit of searching, just touching on some spots that we want to look at again, even though uh, we've been over it many, many times. Uh, but other than that, uh, the siege will, search will be con concluded at the, at the end of today. We have been in the high probability air areas over six times with both uh, fixed wing and rotary wing assets. Um, the thing that is against us though is the terrain and it's a, the wingspan of the airplane is 35 feet. The, uh, the area that we're searching is very high mountains up to 10,000 feet. The airplane was white. We're looking in areas that still have snow. Our crews were experiencing snow, hail, rain in there um, and the canopy is so dense that you know we um, we searched it to, a, to an excellent level but it wasn't the outcome that we're looking for unfortunately for castnet news i'm Elena kelly in Kelowna. get castnet's mobile app available now on itunes and google play <laughs>